Hi guys! So today I did a tutorial for you guys on th this look here. It's very sultry, sexy look using bronze and gold shades which are my favorites and a nude lip. Um, don't mind my nails, I kind of paint them. Uh, so for this video, I did change up my lighting a little bit. I'm not sure if that's a little bit better. I felt like my colors were getting a little washed out from my bright lights. So I included a warmer light um, reflected on me so that you can get the vibrancy um, of the true colors. So yeah, this is the look. And I really love it. This is one of my all-time favorite looks. I, f I think I've done something quite similar to this in the past, um, but I used a different palette. For this look, I used um, this palette, and it's the Chocolate Bar. Oh, it smells so good. By Too Faced. It smells like chocolate. It is amazing. So yeah, I think you can wear this look wherever you want. Um, it's very appropriate for going out or even if you want to go to the supermarket in this. You know, it doesn't matter. I, I wear this look all the time, especially in the spring. I feel like um, when the spring comes around, I want to use like bronzy and gold shades on my lids. I think that's really pretty. And then I paired it with a nude lip and some nice peachy cheeks. So if you want to know how I got this look, then go ahead and keep watching. Hi guys. Oh well, my goodness. No makeup face. All right. First thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and put down a base so that your shadows stick. I'm using a eyeliner by Stila. You can use whatever you have. And I'm just covering my lids uh, where I'm going to apply that eyeshadow. Um, for this look, we're going to be doing like a smoky brown eye. So I am going to be putting eyeshadow on my lower lash line, so I'm going to go ahead and smudge some of that eyeliner down there. Now I'm going to take Salted Caramel in the Chocolate Bar Palette by Too Faced, and that's going to be my transition color. And I'm using this on a Sigma E40. I love this brush. It's amazing for your transition color. And you just want to do windshield wiper motions and circular motions. This doesn't have to be very precise. This is just the transition color. Then I'm going to go into that medium brown. And I'm using a Bedellium Tools brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put this a little bit lower than I did the Salted Caramel. And I'm also going to be winging out this eyeshadow a little bit to extend my eyes and make them appear larger. Same thing, windshield wiper motions. And then go ahead back in with that E40 and blend it all out. Now I'm taking that nice bronzy, chocolatey, sparkly color. I love it. And I'm putting that all over my lids with a e.l.f. flat shader brush. I really like this brush and for $3 at Target, um, you can't go wrong. Now I'm just blending that all out with my Sigma E40. Now I'm taking that kind of gold shade in the palette and I am putting that in the center of my lid on top of that bronzy brown color and this just creates like a highlighted effect on your lids and it makes this look have more dimension and it's pretty when the light hits it. Now I'm taking that bone color palette and I'm just using this as my brow bone highlight and I'm using a brush that I got off of Coastal Scents. 
now I'm using that dark brown, the darkest brown in the palette, and I am going to be intensifying that outer corner as well as winging out the shape of my eyeshadow. Again, making my eyes appear uh, elongated and bigger because I do have small eyes, so I like to give the illusion that I have larger eyes. Now I'm just shaping my eyebrows. Like I've said in past videos, I'm not into the whole um, drawn on eyebrows. It doesn't look that good on me. So I just like to keep my brows pretty natural, fill in the sparse areas. Right now I'm using the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil and I really like it. And that's how I do my brows. Nothing too crazy. Now I'm taking that beautiful peachy shade as my inner corner highlight and I'm sorry guys, I lost a little slip for these and I can't remember the names off the top of my head. Now onto the face, I'm, I primed my face with the Baby Skin by Maybelline, I love that primer and now I am just dotting my face with some it Cosmetics by by Redness, and this just conceals all the redness in my face and allows a nice base for the foundation that I'm going to place. I have used this by itself and it's awesome, but for this look I wanted a little bit more full coverage, so I'm taking um, Smashbox Studio Skin or Studio Ready Foundation, I'll leave all that information down in the down bar, and I'm stippling this all over my face and blending it in with my Sedona Lace Kabuki brush from the Midnight Lace Collection. I really love these brushes. They are amazing. Now to contour, I am using one of my favorite products that I just recently discovered at the drugstore. It is the CoverGirl Concealer Stick in Deep and I like to blend that out with a dual fiber brush and this one is from Crown. I found it on Hot Look and you just want to go ahead and blend that concealer um, to give you that nice contour. Same thing with the nose, you draw two straight lines just to reshape the nose. I like to um, conceal the tip of my nose and putting that darker shade makes it appear smaller. And then I'm just blending it out with that dual fiber brush. Now I'm taking my Eve Pearl Concealer and I am putting that under my eyes. This is amazing for dark circles. It is that salmon color which uh, helps with the discoloration of the under eyes. And now I'm taking my concealer. I'm mixing two shades. I will be putting that in information down on the down bar. One is by NYX, the HD, and the other one is the neutralizer shade by uh, Maybelline, Adrian Wine, which is one of my favorite concealers. The reason I mix them is because I really like um, the color that comes out when you mix them for my skin tone. You just want to go ahead and blend that. I'm using a Sigma brush and that information will be down in the down bar. You just want to blend out all that out into the foundation so that there are no harsh lines. Now I just want to intensify my contour and set that cream concealer that we use and I'm using the Bahama Mama from The Balm. I love this bronzer. It's very beautiful. And now I'm just going to set my entire face with the Sexy Mama by The Balm. And it's just a translucent powder. Now I'm going to go back into that dark shade, that dark brown shade, and I'm just going to uh, apply this on my lower lash line to intensify this smoky eye. And I'm going to go in with Salted Caramel. <laughs> That's the only name that I remember. And I'm going to be smudging out that dark uh, brown color and this creates a nice uh, gradient effect. 
Now I'm taking that same steel up pencil and I am just running this along my lower waterline. And this is a really nice uh, brown eyeliner. And now I'm taking the black waterproof steel up eyeliner and I'm running that on my top waterline. Now I'm taking one of my favorite liquid liners of the moment, and it's the NYC, and I'm doing my wing. Now onto the lips, um, I am filling them in with Epic by Rimmel, it's a lip gloss. Then I'm going in with Vegas by Cargo, and I do have blush on. Um, that clip kind of got deleted, so I will have all the information down at the down bar. You can leave it like that, but I love gloss, so I'm going to go ahead with this new vintage uh, lipstick lip gloss that I received off of Hot Look, and it's by Lorac. And of course, you I love to curl my lashes. It's a must for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. I love you guys and bye!